welcome back to another episode of Limit 55. I'm going to put new seals on the gearbox and then I'm going to reinstall it in the car. And if you think about it, that will be the first thing I've actually accomplished in fixing and reinstalling. Everything else has just been dismantling. So this is kind of a big deal. And if you're new to the Limit 55 channel, make sure to click subscribe to support the creation of more content like this. Before I put the gearbox back in the car, I'm gonna change out all the seals. There should be one on the top, there's a new one for the front, one in the back, and then the lip seal for the input shaft. Underneath this cover, there's three spring-loaded balls, which basically keep the gear stick in gear as you're going along. <clears throat> and it's one of those situations where you take the cover off and they just explode, just go everywhere. So I'm like bracing for impact on this. Oh yeah. So timely, so funny after that previous video I did about tools and using the lock wire pliers, this selector or this bolt which holds the gear selector fork on is loose. And you know what? That probably would have backed all the way out and dropped into the gearbox and screwed it all up if that lock wire wasn't there. But I'm going to take the lock wire off and try and employ my new skill and fix that. Prop shaft, it's like a tailpiece adapter thing. It's got a really neat scroll seal on it though. It just corkscrews oil away from the outside world. I'm about to get the back cover off. My glove is completely destroyed. It's 11.30 at night. So that's my cue. That's a win. Clean this up another time. Selector fork is in the way. Shit. Neutral. There we go. Here is the new bell housing from Canadian Lenny, I call him. It's got a new shaft, it's got the bushings pressed in at either end. Um, it's pretty clean. It does look like at one point it had, it's repaired. His had been cracked as well, but it looks like it had a total blowout. You can kind of tell by the discoloration of this aluminum compared to the cast. This is like, I don't know, it's just more matte and a different shade, which is fine, but you can tell that at one point this whole side of the bell housing was not attached 
to the rest of it. Brand new lip seal. Just something I hadn't really considered until now. There's these shims which control the pressure which is put on this bearing. And it's a very important bearing. I'm just double checking the new housing hasn't been like machined down to a different level than the old one. I don't know, it's just kind of stressful getting the shims like in place without them falling down and then you've got this bead of sealer and then once the seal is on like it's a one shot deal, you know? So anyway, I'm going to keep getting the bolts in. Finally all sealed all together, well hopefully it's sealed. We'll know pretty quickly if uh, that front seal is going to leak oil into the clutch. I hope to goodness it doesn't, but I was going to try and get it back into the car today, but I'm, too, I'm starting to make mistakes, you know, gash and knuckles and stuff, and I remember how difficult it was to get out, so that's a tomorrow problem installing that back in the car, but at least it's ready to go. New mounts. Let's get it in the car and then we can get on to bigger and better things. This is definitely a two person job. People have been kind enough to offer help. Steve, Alan Campbell, Rob, um, but you know, they're not here at 9.30, 10 o'clock at night when I'm doing this, when I have time to do this. So it's now a one-man job. No, I'm gonna need the jack. Like I always say, you know, Make sure to use your legs when you're doing a heavy lift. Unless you need something actually done, then do it all with your back. Jesus. Second of four bolts in. I can't believe that was so straightforward. It's in. did it. And those mounts, MOS motors, they fit perfectly, which is kind of amazing. You know, you're trying to make two different mounts align in four places, two studs, 
and two bolts on the gearbox. That was seriously impressive. I'm, I'm just gobsmacked at how straightforward that was. That never happens. If you work on cars, you know, that never ever happens, but this did, which is, it's unusual, but it's great news. So happy.